Hey guys and welcome to a new Panda film tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make something similar to this. A nice vibrant pink and blue starburst effect with sparkles and a logo in the middle. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new layer. I'm going to name this starburst with sparkle sparkle Choose a width of 1, 2, 80 and the height of 720. So I'm going to hit OK. Now the first thing I'm going to do is double click the background layer and unlock it. Then we're going to hit D on our keyboard to default our color palette and hit Ctrl D which should hopefully make the background black. We're going to make a new layer. We're going to name this, whoops, we're going to name it Starburst, grab the gradient tool, make sure it's a linear gradient and the color is black to white. Click on our new layer, go from the bottom, hold shift and go all the way to the top to make a simple gradient. Next we're going to want to go to filter, distort, wave, we want the number of generators set to 10 we want our type to be set to square. Everything else you can leave on its own because we don't need to fill it with anything else. Hit OK. And then we're going to go to Filter, Distort, and this time we're going to go to Polar Coordinates. Hit OK. Rectangular to Polar is all we need. Just hit OK there, and that's our Starburst effect done. So now we're going to make the color that goes on top of it. Instead of making a standard um, gradient over here, I'm going to make an adjustment layer because if we need to adjust any of the colors later we can do through here. So we want the star to be radial, the angle of 0 and I want to scale this to 75% and hit dither. I'm going to choose a preset gradient for now. The middle color I want to be quite a light blue like so and the outer color we're going to make a really hot pink FC1887 hit OK OK and OK again so now we've got a gradient but we want to be able to see the starburst behind it I'm going to name it gradient go into our blend mode and choose overlay so now our color has transferred onto the starburst beneath to me that's not vibrant enough so we're going to click on our starburst layer go to image adjustments levels I'm going to bring up the blacks just a touch to say 5. I'm going to bring this down to quite a far bit. 220 seems alright, 225. I'm going to bring our gamma towards the left just a bit like so. Let's say 130. No, let's put 125. Yeah. So now it's really vibrant in the middle got this really bright patch right here and it's got this nice deep pink on the outside. So now what we want to do is make a new layer. We're going to name this Sparkles. We're going to create a new brush tool. Set the size to say 10 for this instance. Hit F5 or go to Window and Brush. So the first thing we want to do is make sure our spacing is on and set to 1000 pixels. We're going to go to our shape dynamics and set the size jitter to 50%. Then we're going to go to scattering, set the scatter to both axes at 1000%, count to 1 and count jitter to 100%. We're going to go to transfer and make sure the opacity jitter is set to 50. Close this dialog and now just have fun with the sparkles brush but make sure it's on white, like so. so. We're just going to go around center, going out in bands, like so. La, 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 la. Like that. And we're just going to go up a size to say 20. I'm going to fill in some of the bigger sparkles on the outside as well. Let's have some more around here. So that looks fine. We're going to go to our sparkles layer and we're going to move it below the gradient. 
Then with our sparkles layer selected, go to Color Dodge. Double click the sparkles layer, go to Outer Glow, change the mode to Normal, bring the color to white, and turn the opacity down to around 60% and the size up to around 15, 13. Now you might want to play around with the blend mode now to get these black inner circles to disappear. I'm going to change it to vivid light and there we go. I'm going to change the opacity of the sparkle layer to 50 to make it a little softer. I'm going to move it up to 60. 60 will do. So that's our sparkles done. You can stop now if you want just this really abstract background but if you want to add the logo follow along. So we're going to choose the Eclipse tool, change our color to black, hold Alt and Shift, whoops, click, Shift, Alt and drag out till you're happy with the size there. Then we're going to select the shape layer and the background, hit V on our keyboard and center the circle. I'm going to name this logo BG. Spelled that wrong. Logo BG. Once we have done that we can change the color to something that fits more appropriately. I'm going to open up my swatches and I'm going to choose a grad black which is a softish blue gray. The color for this the hex code is 1A1E22. Hit OK. And that's our logo background. I'm going to double click our logo background go to outer glow, change the blend mode to normal, the color to white, we're going to bump up our side quite a bit. Move our opacity to up around 80%. So now it looks like there's a light coming from behind this black circle. So if I zoom in now we can work on our text. I'm going to choose a color of white for my text and a font of new athletic M54 regular 48 pixels in size. Pen to film. I'm going to move this into the center, select them both and center it again like so. So now I'm going to duplicate this with Control J, move it down, hold Shift and Alt again and make it smaller. Uh, open up the text tool and change the text to Productions. Move this up so it fits like so. And now we can work on the effect. We're going to go into our inner shadow and we're going to change this to the same blue we used earlier, like so. Turn global light off, turn the, the angle to 90, distance to 1, size to 2. You can play around with the size and distance if you want. But I'm going to go with the size of 2, distance of 1. Now go to our drop shadow. Use the same pink, FC1887. Opacity 100, normal. Use global light off, 90 degrees. Distance of 1, size of 2. Don't forget to boost the opacity of the inner shadow. Now here is where I want to play around with the size and settings. I think I'm fine where I was there. And now we can just copy this layer style. Right click on the layer and you should see copy layer style. You can't see it because you are not inside the frame. Paste layer style on this layer. And there we are. We have done our abstract starburst with sparkles background with our branding in the middle. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one.